everything we've done up to this point, we've only worked with what's called explicit functions. And explicit functions are just equations that is solved for y. So you have y on one side, everything else on the other. So these are examples of explicit functions. Okay. Now implicit functions would be when it is not solved for y. So this is an implicit function. This is an implicit function. Okay. Now, we know how to take the derivative of explicit functions, but sometimes it may not necessarily be easy to rewrite an equation explicitly. So we want to be able to take the equation, the derivative of an equation, implicitly as well. So that's what we're going to work on today. So let's start with just um, notation a little bit. Okay, if I ask you to find the derivative of y, okay, let's start with the simple equation. Let's say the equation is y equals x. If I ask you to take the derivative of y with respect to x, okay, when you take the derivative, you are performing an operation. So since this is an equation, anything you do to one side, you do to the other. So the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx, or you can do y prime. And then the derivative of x, we know that the slope of x is just 1. So we know this. Okay. Another way to think about this using those, this notation is this. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. The derivative of x with respect to x is really dx dx, which is really 1. But, I mean, we don't write dx dx. We just go straight to here. Okay. But this is the notation you want to kind of keep in mind. Okay. Let's try another function. Let's look at um, y cubed. The derivative of y cubed with respect to x, if you differentiate that is, you're going to bring down the 3, reduce the power by 1, 3y squared, but then you're going to have to use the chain rule, and there's going to be a dy dx there. Okay, This is the piece that's important. Okay, Now let's rewrite this another way, and that might make this piece a little bit easier to think about. So instead of y cubed, what if I wrote the function as f of x cubed? Right? This is the same as y cubed. So if I said to take the derivative of this, think about what you would do. You would bring down the 3, reduce the power by 1, but then what do we need to do? Chain rule always, what's the derivative of f of x? It is f prime of x. So that's why... The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared dy dx, which is the same as this. The thing to keep in mind is the derivative of y is not 1. The derivative of y is dy dx, okay? or think of it as f of x. So we're going to take a look at two examples, and we're going to look at it implicitly as well as it explicitly, and you'll see that the derivatives are the same, regardless of which way that you do it. So this is an implicit function, xy equals 1. I can write this explicitly. I can solve this equation for x. This would be y equals 1 over x. So let's say I ask you to take this derivative. Okay. So when I do this, this is the notation, say, I'm going to take the derivative of this entire function with respect to x on both sides. So derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx, or y prime. I'm going to use this notation. The derivative of 1 over x, remember this is really x to the negative 1. So how do we take that derivative? Bring down the negative 1, reduce the power by 1, and if you simplify it, we get this. So this is my derivative. Okay, let's say we wanted to do the same thing, but let's say I want to leave it in this form. So I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to x. Now, if I want to take the derivative of x times y, you will have to use the product rule. So derivative of x with respect to x is, remember, dx dx, which is just really 1. So derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is dy dx times the first is equal to, the derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So notice when you do it implicitly, you will have to solve for dy dx. So dy dx times x, I'm going to subtract that y over. I'm going to have to divide out the x. So this is what I get for dy dx. Now compare your two answers. Notice in explicit form, you have it in terms of x. 
your derivative in implicit form has y's and x's in it, and that is fine. But if you want to check that it's the same answer, this is what you can do. What do we know that y is? We know that y is 1 over x. If you plug in, substitute in 1 over x for y, and then simplify it, you get the exact same answer that we got here. But when you do a derivative implicitly, it's okay to have x's and y's in your derivative function. Okay, let's take a look at one more. So this is a linear equation. 3y minus 4x equals y. So let's say I want to write it explicitly first. So I'm going to rewrite the problem over here. I'm going to solve this for y. So subtract the y over, move the 4x. So y is really 2x. Okay, hopefully this is a simple one. I know the derivative dy dx is 2. This is just a line. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side, but let's leave it in this form. So if I take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, the derivative of y, remember, is not 1, it's dy dx. So 3 dy dx minus the derivative of 4x with respect to x is just 4 because it's 4 dx dx. So this is just 4 equals the derivative of y is dy dx. Okay. Again, you're going to have to solve this for dy dx. I'm going to move the dy dx over here, so I have 2 dy dx. Move that 4 over, divide out the 2, so notice it is the exact same answer.